Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial. Now we are making in this tutorial a custom list view. We see how we can make an icon and a title and a description for the item and add a click event for the items. So this video will learn, will show you, teaches you how to make a custom list view with a and handling the click events for the items in list view. So let's begin. We go to start new Android activity, empty activity. We click on um, my apps or uh, custom list view. Okay, let's click finish and wait to Android Studio. So <clears throat> what differs from the basic layout, uh, the basic Android, uh, the basic Android list view, we need now to, to make the, the layout of the item. So it is not a simple, it would be a custom. So uh, one uh, or two uh, additional steps to the previous steps is uh, to add a custom view, a custom layout, and uh, and link it to the layout inflator. We will see in the uh, next couple of minutes. So first of all, we go to the resources. Uh, so, uh, so uh, sorry, to the main activity, we delete it. We, go, we make a text view here. Mm, uh, this is the title of our app and we are creating its constraints uh, this is would be uh, my achievement achieve achievement Achievements. Okay. This is. It would be like thirty six. Okay. Now, just just designing, and we go to list view. We drag and drop a list here and make its constraints below the text view. And here we and here we go. Okay. Okay, so attributes, we, we are making it full. Now, the ID would be a list. Okay, now we go to main activity. We create the list view, list view, list. Okay, click Alt plus Enter to import the package. Importing the package. Okay. This is the first step. List of view creation. I would number the, the steps. Now, step number two, we need to create a custom layout. This is called uh, custom layout we create new resource file this would be a custom 
our, our item custom layout click ok and i have to uh, to uh, in order to uh, like save some time i would make a ready made layout i the source file you can uh, you can download it and see it i would now uh, pause the video and i will uh, paste the code you can put it uh, or download it from the source files okay here the code it is a linear layout containing an image view and two text views. You see that you can download also, I told you uh, the source code is available. So here, what's happening? I've just creating uh, for saving the time and a linear layout, an icon and a linear layout vertical having the text and the subtitle. Okay, and this is the icon. Okay, the second step is done. So, back to the activity, main activity, we need to create a, a data. We saw how to create them. We create creating data. Previous videos, we saw how to create one string array the string array now we we need so now to create the first string array the string array and i would name it as title okay so first one would be master android pro the second would be master flutter the third one would be master android app here called app app YouTube channel and rate us okay The second, the second type of uh, data would be description. Also, it would be a title, uh, a list, a string array. Now, download download this app or learn Android app development from zero to hero. This is will be the first description for this title. We see later how to uh, manage and uh, manage and link them. Now learn Flutter from scratch. And Master Android Pro, a uh, Master Android helping more than seven hundred. 80,000 plus users or developers to learn Android.
YouTube channel. It would be like uh, our official app, uh, official uh, channel, Android Master app is our official channel and keep us keep us making new tutorials rate us five stars on Udemy Okay, this is the fur the second string array. Now we th we need to make a, an uh, integer array that would display our images. So images as an array. So Android Studio uh, Android Studio understand the images or uh, form an images in uh, as an array as as an integer array so in order to create them we create an integer integer array called image images equal to this and I will copy and paste the images uh, that I need to uh, to our a drawable folder I need to put project drawable and here I would put these drawables okay so these are the five icon uh, five icons or five images we need to to put them inside our app so first we create the the integer array r dot drawable dot uh, master android pro master pro the second would be r dot drawable dot master flutter it would be logo okay and this is the logo and this is master pro this is the icon of the our app would be available uh, and uh, av which is available on a uh, play store so go to play store and check it master android pro also we go to, we need to make a drawable dot master android app And we need to create a drawable YouTube and we need r dot drawable dot star star this is the star okay now the set of data are ready we need to connect them to our uh, array and list of view now the the trick in this uh, app is to create and understand the data sources the adapter model class so now first of all we uh, we created the images the images and text uh, data now we cre we need to create a new class that would serve as a list adapter so we see a simple adapter uh, before uh, the previous videos now we create a custom list adapter adapter that would will bind the text uh, views and the image views to the list so in order to create a list adapter we create my list adapter class and this is an empty class just serving for uh, for making an array adapter extend array adapter and type string 
of type string. Now we create alt plus enter creating the constructor and we create an empty uh, we create now we create the uh the, the we create the strings and a string arrays and the integer arrays private final activity context this is the context of the activity okay private final string array main title private final string array of the description description and private final integer array integer array of type M of name images okay now we need to create a constructor so here we need a we say constructor we create we click on shift plus uh, alt plus insert and create a constructor and an empty constructor uh, sorry the full constructor this is having all of our variables this is our constructor and we we need to create a get view method so we cre click on public view alt plus enter get view int position view view and view group view group is called parent don't worry we will clarify them in the next couple of minutes so we created this, me this method to bind or make a layout inflator that would serve as making and uh, would serve as a template or a holder for our views so here is missing the return value we click on return we will add them in next minute now we need to create a layout inflator layout inflator which is used to display the layouts and the group the 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 widgets into a, a layout and serve as a template so think of a layout inflator which is a template that shows the widgets so inflator layout inflator equal context dot get layout inflator Second, we need uh, to instantiate the view, view, row, view, we, row, view, we'll name it as a row, view, inflator, dot, inflate. In order to use the inflator, we click on the method or create a method called inflate, r dot layout dot list, item custom list. And here we put null and true for attached to root. Now, let's instantiate this.
uh, the, we created this item list icon uh, layout so we need to instantiate this icon this text view and this text view also so we go to back here and that get the view method create a text view title text equal find view equal sorry view or row view dot find view by id view by id r dot id dot title okay it's called this is uh, subtitle and this is the title title now another text view because we have two types uh, two text views text view description or subtitle that's sub title equal row view dot find view by id find view by id r dot id dot sub title now let's instantiate the image view equal image view equal to row view dot find view by id r dot id dot icon okay till now we are doing well so now let's go to title title text dot set text dot set text main title main title and we get the position okay and this and this view we created the layout inflator that infl that instantiate this text these texts and image that we use then the method called set text and we get the main title here this is the string of the main title passed from here so we now need to pass this data to the to the to the, the adapter and then the adapter display it into the text also we, we will do the same in subtitle subtitle dot set text mm, uh, description now we put here set uh, title to uh, our subtitle to subtitle which is here main title description put description and position now image image view dot set image resources to image images dot or position till now we are making good and we need to add a return statement pro view don't worry you are mastering the android so practice this uh, this uh, this uh, tutorials and your on your android studio so type them uh, exactly what we are doing uh, so back to main activity 
as an overview what we have done we created the, the item custom layout this is the layout ready made to display an icon and two texts we then made a, a array a list a list adapter list adapter which is a new class this is a new class and now we need uh, we, uh, we third step we instantiate the data that we need and the fourth step we need to add them on on create method and benefit benefit from linking these adapters and it'll benefit from bridging and uh, connecting that data to the list of you from or by using the adapter so now let's create or instantiate the, the adapter my my list I am making an object of from this class so I'm in a main activity creating an object from this now adapter equal new adapt my list my list adapter this and passing I'm just passing the main type this cont content on te context sorry then we need to pass or to pass the main title or the title here we need to pass the title here we created title then we create description then we created images now we need to pass title then description and then image images so just one step it's very important because uh because we are uh, the 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 list view or the list adapter is case sensitive so we need to pass as they are arranged here on the in the constructor so uh, i'm getting an error because these are not arranged uh, according to the adapter uh, ordering just just to do in order to do the same i will create a create a constructor also alt, alt plus insert create an array array adapter okay i will remove i will remove this super I will remove sorry and resources act context and resource so this is making the problem activity context context okay and removing context one context one and the second is called r dot layout dot item cost layout and main type okay just uh, editing the constructor now we we see that the problem is solved so let's create now list we have instant we have done instantiating this or no 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 list view equal find view by id r dot id dot uh, list now the last step is list so 
as we see below uh, previous uh, videos that list of you need an adapter so now we, we need to set an adapter so list of you dot set adapter and we choose our adapter from as a my list adapter object now we are ready so let's add a click listener for the item so handling the events or the click events on the item it's very important because you are making a list to allow the user to click on one of these items one of these items of the list view so we put list view or uh, that uh, first uh, of all uh, that overview uh, as an overview that it is not an uh, override it's an implementing method so we need to say that list view dot set on item click listener on item click listener don't put set on click listener because it is making the list as a click but on item click listener you are you are specifying that the item should be clicked to do an action so let's configure the uh, the options to allow the item one to be selected so if position one equal equal to zero we know in the list we start numbering from zero so the item you see in the per in the list of you it is the first item it is numbered as zero don't be confused so we are making a toast uh, we are displaying in a message that tells the user that item one is selected now i will copy and paste and repeat this step for the fourth the four items selected position number two number one number three and here the position number two position number two remember it's making uh, the item number three in the list okay till now we are ready to go and we are configuring our list of you in a simple and very good manner now this is a list adapter as an overview and this is our main activity now click run and let's see what we are doing and hooray this is our list of you we are displaying the the items this is the title the icon the description and they are uh, uh, arranged in a very good manner and a custom view so you see and when i click the item number three it is it's telling me a toast and whenever i uh, click on any item it is telling me which item i choose 